All right, chat, we need your guys' uh, input on this. This week, we've been ta I talked about this a bit at work. I don't know. Apparently, you guys talked about this a bit at your work, too. Can cereal be classified as a soup? Let's talk about this. So, chat, you guys discuss among yourselves. What are your thoughts on this? Lucas or Lee? No, I don't, I don't, I don't want to go first. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say first. I'm gonna say yes. I think it could be, bro. I think it could be. Okay, so why? Okay, so are we are we talking about like Google definitions of soup here? <laughs> yes, we are. Yes, we are. Okay. Hold on. Let me. Let me no, let no, me... no. Don't pull it up. Don't pull it up because I'll pull the definition and we're, and we're done. A soup consists of meat, broth? fish, or vegetables in a broth. Okay. Now here's where I'll argue with you, Lucas. <laughs> God damn it! Why did, why did I talk? Why did, why did I talk? I should have just been like, okay, okay, well, okay, okay, yeah, okay. Let, let me. Think, let me okay, sorry, sorry. Let, before, sorry, Lee, before you go, I think this is a great chance for us to say this is when we probably engage chat a little more because I think the hypotheticals are a great point to do this. Okay. Not maybe not every comment, but we'll we'll we'll, we'll talk about some of them. Right. Uh, first one I want to call out right now is chat says soup is warm. No, that is not true. Not true. There are soups that are cold. Their their languages that are not English. I can't remember them off the top of my head. What? Uh, there, are, there are soup, I, I, bro. I don't eat soup. I'm not like a soup connoisseur. But oh, well, sorry. Soup. I thought I thought a separate statement was there's languages that aren't English and you can't think of other languages. I'm like, are you serious? Yeah. Gazpacho. gazpacho is one. Exactly. That's a good. That's a good example. Yeah, gazpacho. Is, yeah. Exactly. I think that's one of them. So, Lee, what were you gonna say before we? Uh, uh, so, so what I was gonna say first, uh, I'd like to take off back my first comment. And okay, so my new first comment is take that chat. Not all soups are warm. Boom. Now to take Lucas to school. Strictly <laughs> live streets. No, 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 not me. Don't take someone else to school. Take someone else to school. Taking I'm, Lucas to school. Hope I'm you still in your school. Binder, son. I'm still in school. I'm still in school. I'm okay, in school. so you said a soup has to contain. What did you say it was? Meat. Uh, meat, protein. fish, or vegetable. Or oh, vegetables. Wheat. What about wheat? Okay, no, wheat. Wheat is a grain. What, was this wheat my? Is a grain. Was this my fucking point or what, Matt? <laughs> Jesus right, Christ. Bro. I got your back. I'm on the same fucking page as you. I fucking like, like it, bro. I like Lee, it. Lee, okay. tell him what's up. Tell him why he's wrong. All right, Lee, all right, Lucas. All right, Lucas. So your argument is that wheat is a grain. Now, would you say uh, corn soup is a soup? Because it's got fucking soup in its name. And corn is a grain. Then therefore, no. Therefore, grains can be encompassed in the soup category. I would or, just or say. Or as the, 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 you know, the... main substance in the soup. No, but the main like substance of the soup is not the corn itself like for example corn chowder is a bechamel sauce which is flour milk and butter that okay is not... so do you see how you're making your argument uh, kind I of just, in yeah, our favor i, I, I fucked up i fucked yeah, say up. that a little <laughs> slower say that a little slower and you'll yeah i just want me to say it slower could you so it starts with the bechamel sauce which is uh flour it's a little bit of milk Okay, the example, the example that I was talking about is, okay, people talk about broth being an important part of soup. So, you know, with soup, you got chicken broth is your broth. The broth of cereal is milk, baby. <laughs> okay, so now we got to dig into the, we got to dig into the definition of broth. Do we? Well, I, no, why well, I'm just saying, I know that's what Lucas is going to bring up. I don't think so. I was, I was, I was fine with that. Oh yeah. Well, I'm fine. No, with that, not bro. actually your broth. Okay. Pull it up, Lucas. Pull it up. I'm not gonna pull anything up. I think. Okay, so would you drink a would you drink a uh, like a glass of chicken broth? It's good for you. So is milk. So no, what's your milk, point, milk bro? Is not, <laughs> milk, milk is not great for you. That's such a lie. That's such a <laughs> well, cause like. That's because it's it's high in calcium. Like I, I thought you know. were a nurse yeah. bro. and vitamin D. I think, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. I don't think so. If you have a division, milk, milk is barely even milk. Boy, it's mostly Maddie. water. <laughs> Okay, it depends on the percentage you get, but yes, yeah, pasteurized is. milk is, is not true. entirely it, it depends the on what best you drink. for you. It's not, it depends on what you drink. Same with yogurt. Most of it can be sugar-based, depending on what yogurt you get. It really depends on everything. It's same with soup. Soup can be good for you, too, if you get... Okay, unless you okay get we're, we're getting too far off of here, though. So, so we're talking about... So what constitutes something as a soup? You have one of the ingredients, which is meat, vegetables, wheat, whatever. Yes. And we've now classified that cereal has wheat. Obviously. Certain ones do, okay. but I think the majority do not. Then what the fuck are most cereals made out of? Par sorry, pardon me. So I think what I'm trying to say is that, like, yeah, most of them have wheat, like most of the cereals, but I would not classify them as a soup 
because it's a grain. Where I know corn can be classified as a grain. I think that's an exception. It's corn, like corn what is about, classified. What about as barley soup? Yeah, okay, but but barley it's the same. It's the same. The same it's the same logic as saying tomato is a fruit. You don't put tomato in a fruit salad. That makes zero sense. No, not that. It's a one-off. It's an exception to the rule. Grow up. Okay, but then, so then, ultimately, can cereal be classified as a soup with that logic? I personally, okay. I personally do not believe so. No, no, no. Can... Hold on, sorry. <laughs> to argue, to argue your your poor tomato argument. Yes, you don't put tomatoes in a in a fruit salad, not because it isn't a fruit, because it doesn't taste good. It's the oh. the the exactly the symphony of flavors there is not complementary. It's what not because tomatoes are not a fruit. So you tomatoes can't taste say, amazing. So that's that's an irrelevant uh, comparison there. Because we're not arguing that tomatoes are not fruits. We're just saying, hey, it doesn't pair well I'm, in a yeah. fruit salad. So that doesn't mean cereal is not a soup. You see okay. what I'm saying? Your point made. Yes, I, 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 broth, see, I see what you mean. Milk. I see what you mean. Today, what you want is milk or broth? Yes or no? <laughs> It, I, th- I personally think it could be classified as a broth. It's I, stuff that you're I can see. I can see why. Your lucky charms. <laughs> so I hope all of you tomorrow who have a bowl of cereal enjoy your bowl of soup for breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> Boom. They should make a Mr. Noodles soup. Uh, sorry, cereal. Isn't it already? By Mr. Noodles. <laughs> Yo, so are soup cereals? Oh my god, I'm not ready. It's gonna be one of those arguments. It's where like not all soups are cereals, but all cereals are soups. <laughs> that no, that now that makes sense. Now I just gotta draw a little attention. To... All cereals are soups, but not all soups are cereals. That no, that works. I want to draw attention to Glenn's comment here about how it's like saying ketchup is a smoothie. I would argue that because like a, a smoothie is a blend of fruit with <laughs> let's say juice milk yogurt whereas ketchup is just the blended fruit sure you add some sugar maybe some vinegar stuff like that but that's like saying if you blend strawberries that it's a smoothie no you got like strawberry paste no you got a strawberry smoothie baby <laughs> no if you just oh, bl- no. if you just blend strawberries with nothing you just and just- water and water okay so you need a liquid to go with it to make it like a drink ketchup isn't a drink so it's, it's okay like, but you're telling me you could grind you could you could blend together f- like 15 tomatoes and you'd have ketchup there's got to be some water in there somewhere no but it's not added oh well yes there are added things but i'm saying ketchup isn't a drink whereas smoothies are a drink you obviously haven't enjoyed ketchup the proper way but <laughs> <laughs> yo I'm, I'm sorry i'm sorry i'm gonna bounce off this a little bit but then is oatmeal a stew no, oatmeal is a soup, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, what's the difference between a stew and a soup? I don't. I don't know. I'm. I i do not know. I don't know. You're asking the wrong dude, bro. Yo, is chat, it because it, it's ticker? Uh, it's a little bit more tick. Guys, what's the difference between stew and a soup? If Luke's is wrong, he's got to do a shot. I don't. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Chat. I don't know. Please, please. So, I don't know. Take know. the shot. Take the shot. <laughs> Actually, what's funny about you saying take a shot is um, at our Christmas last year, uh, Sky, the consistency. Okay, little, little sister of mine, she's six. She made this song where every time we would drink, she'd be like, "Take a shot, take a shot," and then all of us would start singing. <laughs> and you just literally did the melody, which is actually fucking hilarious. Hey, sick. Um, but uh, yeah, um, I don't know. I, I actually don't know the difference between a stew and a soup. Okay, I really so don't either. We we see in chat here that it's consistency, but I would go again and argue, uh, like broccoli soup, uh, you know, things like that. Have Cream a of different... mushroom. Yeah, like, those have. Other words, thicker. Fucker. Uh, it's yeah, thick, bro. <laughs> but those have a different consistency than, let's say, chicken noodle soup. So how the hell are those two both soups still? I'd like to see consistency, Glenn. So really, chat. What we're trying to get you to determine is what's the difference between cereal soup and stew. <laughs> <laughs> These are the real and, questions here. And what if in the morning I wake up and I want to have a breakfast stew of Lucky Charms? What the fuck are you going to do? <laughs> Yo, now can you make a dessert soup? What would that... What is that? I don't I don't know. Is that, Isn't that, is that milkshake? It brings all the boys to the yard. And like, damn right, it's better than yours. Can, can you, teach you teach me? me? Hey! hey. Okay. What's up, man? <laughs> The BCMA, dude. Yo, Lee, that. just for that, five minutes of uninterrupted eye contact. Don't, no, turn your camera off. 
Turn it off. <laughs> Pat's complaining that we're making them do all the work. Um, yeah, so we, we are. Actually, we are. I did. I like before this came up. I actually had Googled, "Can cereal be a soup?" And there were some good arguments for both sides. But you know, I don't eat a lot of soup, so I'd like to think it could be. Like you know, the ingredients of my soup is Lucky Charms and milk. Boom. Actually, no. If you guys have seen podcast number one, Lucky Charms wasn't even on my list of top five cereals, but um, I still I think that's two chats in a row. You lied to these people. Yeah, but you also decide that cornflakes is good if you cut bananas. We're not gonna get into it because it was stupid, but yeah. Honestly, we found out from that chat, guys, that Lucas only likes dick-shaped fruits. 